Indoor trainers are a really efficient use of time and great for getting quality bike sessions in. But with so many on the market these days, finding the right one for you can be a bit of a minefield. So I'm gonna help you to choose an indoor trainer. Magnetic, direct drive, fluid, air, smart trainers, where on earth do you start? Well, there are so many more options available for indoor trainers compared to when I first started cycling. And to demonstrate this, Wahoo have kindly stepped in. They've loaned us a few of their products so that we can run through the range. The same range that is used by Ironman world champion and Olympic Games gold medalist Jan Fredino, and even Team Sky. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the entry level trainers that are on offer to you. Now this is actually the turbo that I started out on and I've had knocking around at home so forgive me for it being a little bit dated but it's still very similar to those that are on the market today. Now if all you want to do is ride your bike indoors without the gizmo and gadgets then this could tick the box for you. To secure the bike onto the turbo all you have to do is clamp it down onto the rear skewers here and then rest the rear wheel onto the roller. Right, I think we should give this a go. How the resistance is applied varies between turbos. In my case, I'm using a magnetic trainer where the resistance is created by a magnetic field. And you can normally adjust the resistance of that by increasing or decreasing the magnetic force. And you can do that with something like this, a trigger or control switch. And then normally you can attach these to handlebars as well. Then there's the fluid and air resistance turbos. The fluid resistance turbos work by propeller spinning inside a fluid filled chamber and then the air resistance turbos work by the propeller spinning against air resistance. Now, the main difference of those is that you don't normally need a trigger or control like you do on this magnetic one, because it sort of happens naturally as you increase your pace, it increases the resistance. But one thing I should really note with these styles of trainers, both the magnetic, fluid, and the air, is that it's an on-wheel design. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just using my normal wheels, normal tire, but if I was doing anything sustained or regular turbos, you do get uneven wear on the middle of the tire. So it'll affect the feel and even your grip when you next ride outdoors. So what most people do is put a turbo tire, which is a harder wearing tire on either that wheel or they have a spare wheel that they switch in for turbo sessions. This is the Kicker Snap from Wahoo. It's Wahoo's more affordable trainer. It's another wheel on design, meaning it's fixed and mounted in the same way as the previous trainers, but this is a smart trainer. This means that you can connect the trainer to your bike computer, your smartphone, your tablet, or even your computer via Bluetooth Smart or ANT Plus. So you can monitor your training as you go. And actually, in some cases, you can increase the intensity on these as well. Now, I'm currently using the Wahoo Element Bolt bike computer, but you can use other bike computers. And if you don't have a bike computer, you can actually use the Wahoo Fitness app to capture the data. But the beauty of the Smart Trainer, and actually a really popular option, is to connect it to something like Zwift or Trainer Road to give it that kind of outdoor real feel, but you're training indoors. Now, it's really worth noting, actually, I don't have a power meter on my bike currently, but the Kicker Snap has an inbuilt power meter, so I can see my power as I ride. The Wahoo Kicker. We're taking up a level here now. This is Wahoo's ultimate indoor smart trainer. It's quite different from the previous indoor trainers we've discussed. This is in fact a direct drive trainer. And that means that we have to remove the rear wheel and then we place the dropouts of the bike onto the axle of the trainer, which also has a pre-mounted cassette. Now that just saves us all that effort of having to use a turbo tire or even having to switch a wheel over with a turbo tire on. It really is quite straightforward. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is compatible with your eight speed, your nine speed, your 10 speed, your 11 speed, Shimano, SRAM, even Campagnolo. It's all been thought through and it's even compatible with your through axle bikes too. Again, it connects to your bike computer, your smartphone, your tablet, or even your computer in the same way that the Kicker Snap does. So I've got all my data on my screen now. And admittedly, it is a relatively heavy device. It comes in at around 21 kilograms, as does it with all smart trainers, really. 
A really cool setting with these smart trainers is the erg mode. So say you want to sit at a set power or you're trying to follow an interval session, maybe on Zwift for instance, then you can just do that. Set it, the turbo does the rest for you, regardless of the terrain or your cadence. So say for instance, I'm riding at 300 watts, 70 RPM, the trainer will set it to 300 watts. And then say I change to 100 RPM, or the Zwift course heads downhill, it will adjust it to 300 watts. So really useful if you're trying to nail a quality session. But something that is cooler again, the Wahoo Kicker Climb. Now we've been talking about indoor riding feeling realistic, but how about your bike actually moving with a simulated terrain? So the forks actually lock into the kicker climb, so the bike will literally tilt upwards or downwards with ascents or descents. In fact, it can range from ascents of 20%, woo, all the way back down to descents of 10%. So, say for example you're riding on Zwift, it will move in parallel with what you're seeing on the screen. So say you hit a climb, it will shoot up. But not just that, it's actually been designed jointly with the Wahoo Smart Trainers to adjust the resistance too. So there's no cheating yourself. That's not it either. How about recording a ride out on the road? Maybe a course that you've raced before and then reliving that indoors. That's something I did recently out in Hawaii, the Ironman World Champs. I recorded parts of the course on my Wahoo bike computer. Then all you need to do is connect your Wahoo bike computer to the kicker climb and your smart trainer to re-simulate that terrain from your own home time and time again. How about that for a course recce? Well, there we go. That's everything from entry level to cutting edge and all the info you'll need to choose your indoor trainer. And another thanks to Wahoo for helping us to make this video. And if you'd like to, you can subscribe to GTN by clicking on the globe. And to see an indoor training video for the bike from GTN, just click down here. And if you'd like to see how to increase your power on the bike, just click down here.